Hi, I'm Joey Davidson, Senior Editor at Technobuffalo.com, and I'm here today with a look at Fez. Okay, Fez just launched today for the Xbox Live Arcade. It's currently an Xbox Live Arcade exclusive. Uh, today is actually Friday the 13th of April. Uh, the game is 800 points, that's 10 bucks, and it is really bizarre. Uh, it's a really neat, interesting indie game from the folks at Polytron. Uh, it's a very small, like super, super small company. Um, the game's been in development for years. It's won several awards at several different shows. Uh, essentially, Fez starts out where you're a 2D character in a 2D world. Your name is Gomez, this guy. Uh, you climb up to the top of the mountain, speak to the geezer of the village, and all of a sudden everything goes haywire and the 2D world becomes this 3D perspective shifting world that you're seeing now. Uh, the game is totally, totally in love with classic old school gaming, and I will show you why in a minute. For now, really taking the visuals and the music as well. The music in this game so far is brilliant. Ah, uh, yeah, and if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm looking for eight small cubes. Every world has eight cubes in it, falling to my death as well. Uh, and the eight cubes come together to build one cube, and your quest is to find 32 golden cubes. It's all about the cubes. Find the cubes. It's a uh, kind of an old-school collectathon in that sense. And like I said, there are several nods at classic games um, in this game. It's in love with old games. So if you look at there at that poster on the right, that's actually the title screen from Zelda without the Zelda information on it. Google search it. I don't know. Uh, it definitely is. And, and I mean, there are several nods at it. I think there's a, another Zelda nod before this clip is over. So in case you haven't picked up on it yet, especially in the early stages of the game, this is actually right after the world goes 3D. Um, Fez is very chill, very relaxed. I mean, the music right now is, is kind of an indication of that, but the gameplay itself is, is this very no-pressure, explore kind of gameplay. It just gives off this sense of, you know, have fun learning and figuring things out, and talking to the villagers and everything else, and the game just sort of folds out in front of you and it's really after playing so many action games and games where I'm killing stuff and everything else it's it's kind of nice to get a, a little break and to still be kind of using my brain in interesting ways but then at the same time I'm kind of doing it in a in a sense that kind of involves no pressure uh, it's it's really kind of a weird experience so far where you know I, I like it but I definitely feel laid back and kind of like I can stop whenever I want that kind of thing
you'll see some of that no pressure gaming stuff kind of uh, take form here as I jump off of this ledge over and over again like an idiot. I don't really know what I was trying to do. <laughs> Uh, but, I mean, you, you see, it just kind of pops you right back up where you died, and, and it's like, alright, that's it, there's no no real penalty, and uh, I, I have not found a penalty in this game yet for doing anything silly. Um, it's just kind of like, here's the world, explore it, really, no pressure, and enjoy. I also found this, tr this treasure map in this room here, which has just left me completely puzzled, <laughs> I have no idea what it does. Um, I'm trying to use it in later levels, and I just, not there yet, man, I don't understand. But I think that's part of Fez so far, it's, uh, I mean, even as they say it there in the little speech bubble from Dottie or whatever her name is, it's all about figuring it out, you know, the game is, is just uh, basically a puzzle, you need to figure it out, it doesn't really guide you too much, it doesn't really hold your hand, it just kind of says, here's the world, go. Alright, so that's seven small cubes that I have to find in order to complete the eight with the one big cube in order to unlock the door at the base of the level. I'm going to let this play out. Uh, if you guys are looking for that other Zelda nod, I guess you could say that it is the, the chest opening, but I'm, that's not really what I was talking about. I, that might be a stretch. Uh, there's one that's much more obvious, and it comes as the level changes. So that's probably where this clip will end with that Zelda nod. You'll see it and if you've played Ocarina of Time, then you'll know exactly what it is. So until next time, take it easy guys, and I hope you enjoyed this look at Fez.